Just not a little. You wait, Becky. You'll see. She has this beautiful pain. I mean, I have pain, too, this past year since Rita died. But not like Mrs. Tipton. A man could fall in this pain and never find his way out. Thanks, Steve. Um, I'll need a bill of sale. On my desk. I'll be right back. You see, when Mrs. Tipton arrived last week... <coughs> Uh, I'll get this told. Don't worry. Thank you for calling Bill Buxley Lexus. Hey, Beck, it's me. Oh, Joe, I'm sorry. We got swamped. Yeah, I figured. Did you see the news? Uh, I still have these quarterly reports to get out, so you and Chris should go ahead and eat. Yeah, we did. Uh, Chris and I had pizza. You're having pizza again. Don't worry. We made a salad. Carrot sticks are not a salad. Hey, I just wondered if you saw the news. Big story on CNN. What is it? The internal combustion engine has been outlawed. All, all auto sales ended at 6 p.m. today. Okay. Car dealerships nationwide have been shut down. Workers were sent home. Very funny. And since it's now 20 minutes after 9 and you're still not home? Joe, I'm sorry. Are you the only one there? Francine's there. Francine is the janitor. She's supposed to be there. I know. Joe, I'm sorry. I mean, really, Beth, it's just a job. It's just cars. Hold on. Hmm. This phenomenon is known as normative social behavior. The desire to gain approval through situational behavior, despite not believing in the value of what one is doing. Beth, you there? Sorry again. God, the more I do, the further behind I get. Has that ever happened to you? Uh, can you give me a hand here? I need this. Well, I didn't staple. Thanks. Just like that. Okay. Quick, before we're interrupted, Mrs. Tipton bought this car from Steve, but the model she wanted was customized, loaded with all these extras, and she could not get it delivered for another three or four weeks. When I told her this, she said, what's it matter, Becky? I've waited this long. Then she told me her story. Her husband was wealthy and well-known, and, like her, well into middle age. One day, Mrs. Tipton sat up out of the shower, and her husband looked her up and down, handed her a towel, and said, time is cruel, honey, and left her for a swimwear model. There were no kids, no family to speak of. Mrs. Tipton was all alone. She sat on the floor of her white carpeted living room for the next 17 days. Then she stood up, put on her shoes, walked down to Safeway, signed her house over to the checkout girl, and walked away from her life. She cleaned out all her accounts and kept just enough money to buy a good manicure and this one fully loaded black car. I asked her what she planned to do now. Drive away, she said. To where, I asked, and she said nothing. So I handed her my card, promised her I'd call her the minute it came in. She looked at me with that beautiful pain of hers, and she said, Is that it, Becky? Is there all there is? Good evening. We're closed. Yes, I know, but I wondered if... You'll need to come by tomorrow. Yes, but you see, this is kind of an emergency. I need to. The dealership closed three hours ago. I won't take up much of your time. I can write you a check. I give you a credit card. and have my accountant write the full amount to you, whichever you prefer. Full amount for what? I need to buy some cars. As a gift for my employees, we have our company breakfast at 7 a.m. tomorrow morning. We've had a very good year. So I want to give them all a little something, but I'm just, I'm just terrible at gifts. My wife, Sheila, she was so good at it. Just had an act. Knew just the perfect thing to buy for people, no matter what the occasion. But ever since she passed, I'm a total wreck. I told her I should hire a gift consultant. Put a sort of swag master on my payroll, but I really wouldn't have worn it again. Look, Mel's not a... So I had my driver take me to some stores. I had no idea. There were so many stores. They're everywhere. And I walked around these stores. Not a clue. No idea. No idea what to get. So I asked my driver to take me home. And with moments there, we were stuck in traffic. And I looked out the window and I said to myself, Cars. People like cars. I'll get them some cars. So, I know it's late, but may I please buy some of your cars? How many do you need? Nine. Just nine of them. Nine cars. 
I could arrange a payment for him tonight. And maybe you could put the keys in little gift boxes. Sheila always kept a shelf filled with these neat little gift boxes on the fitted with ribbons. Just, just perfect. Anyway, I thought I'd hand these out tomorrow at the company breakfast, shake their hands, and be done with it. Um, what, um, what kind of cars do you want? Oh, whatever, whatever you think. Nine of them. Maybe you should look at this. These are all our current models. Ah, uh, see, this is where it gets tricky. Maybe, maybe just one of each style. And what colors? See what I mean? This is impossible. God, I miss Sheila. Towards the back, there are some fabric swashes and interior and exterior. Plus, we offer... No, 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 no. I, I can't do this. I can't do this. My driver's waiting. I'm supposed to be at a birthday party for my daughter, and I don't have a gift for her either. Uh, unless you count my entire net worth, which she'll inherit the moment I drop dead from trying to buy gifts for all these people. So please, I know how this must sound and how foolish I must look, but please, can you help me? I recommend the all-wheel drive sport coupe. Very popular. My husband, he always wanted one of these. Oh, did he? And the thing is, you don't need to pick the colors or interiors in advance. The new owners can do what they want when they come in. And I suggest you buy each of them the same car to avoid playing favorites. That's very smart. They can take delivery almost right away. And if you choose this top flight package, uh, for each car, they could get any extras they might want. Good, let's do that. Okay. Your cost for the nine cars... The taxes, titles, and fees comes to this number right here. You, you, you still wear your ring. I do too. I thought about leaving it with Sheila, having it buried with her. It was my daughter who told me to. It was my daughter who told me to hold on to it. That it would be a nice remember, a reminder. I've seen you down the same. Pardon? Kept your wedding ring. Well, yeah. It's lovely. Thank you. Yeah, I wear it because, I mean... Was, was he a good man? Was he kind to you? Yeah, he was. It! I mean, he still is. Oh, I, I know the feeling. Uh, he's still with me. We're still together. Exactly. That's what I tell people, too. No, you... It's like, it's like she's right here with me, right by my side. Guiding me through my days. Yes, but my husband is still... And leading me here to you tonight. Leading me to you. I'm Walter, and you are... Rebecca. I'm sorry for your loss, Rebecca. You don't understand. I like the name Rebecca. Rebecca. It has, it has substance. Balance. I hope you don't let people call you Becky. Well... Becky is the... That's the name of a dull housewife in a sad movie about a poor family struggling to, struggling to hold on to their vanishing hopes and dreams. In the movies, a Becky always gets the shaft. Walter, I, I need to tell you about my husband. And I need to tell you more about Sheila. I think that's healthy to do that kind of thing. But let's not do it here. I tell you what, let me pay you for these cars and then maybe we can go somewhere. Get a bite to eat. You have a party to attend. Your daughter's and, birthday? And of course you remember that. Of course you place family above everything else. Sheila was like that too. You're right, I should go. And I still don't have a gift for my daughter. Does she need a car? Oh, she's got plenty of those. Maybe I'll get her locked downtown. Kids like lost, don't they? I bet they do. Well, here's my card. With my accountant's name on the back. Walter Flood. I've seen that name before. Maybe on the billboards. You advertise there? I am the billboards. I own the billboards. Which one? Ah, eh, pretty much all of them. Go ahead, you can say it. They're an eyesore, visual pollution. Well... And all that's true. But believe me, if I could have made hundreds of millions of dollars by doing something good and noble for the world, I'd by God would have done it. 
But my father handed me this business and said, Walter, don't screw it up. So, what are you going to do? Play the hand you're dealt. You must have played it well. 